Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect stuffing. I really think a roast chicken or any roast meat isn't quite complete without a beautiful stuffing. This is how you make it. You start off with a nice hot pan. I've got some pancetta. I'm going to put that pancetta straight into the pan. You hear that little sizzle? That's what you're looking for. If it's quite lean, like mine is, you can add a little bit of uh, olive oil which will just help to um, get that a little, a little crispy is what you're looking for. Now, a stuffing is really a blank canvas. You can put whatever you want into it. There's a couple of things that you need to put in, but I'm going to show you my version of a really good stuffing, but don't feel like you can't change it. There's, there's a million different things you can use in a good stuffing. Right, once you've got that beautiful golden colour on your pancetta, and that's what you're looking for, the next thing that we're going to do is add our shallots and our garlic. So just throw your shallots in there. You want them cut sort of roughly the same size as the, um, as the pancetta. Once that's had 30 seconds or so, add your garlic. Quite a lot. You want this to be a really flavorful stuffing. Right, next, we're going to add our butter. Now, you'll see there's quite a lot of butter here, and you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, do I need all of that? Truthfully, the butter's there for its flavor, but it also is there to sort of hold the stuffing together. So once your butter's melted, your shallots are cooked and that garlic's had some time to release some of its flavour and it just takes a couple of minutes, what you do next is pick up your panko breadcrumbs and we're just going to add that to our pan. And you'll see it, it'll absorb all of that liquid in just a second. You want to still hear just a little sizzle while the breadcrumbs are in there with the butter because you want to continue to toast it. You want this to be sort of crisp as a, rather than soggy. I've made a rosemary salt. Now, you can just use a normal salt. You don't need a lot of salt because we've already got the, um, the pancetta acting as a bit of a, a salty ingredient. This has got a little lemon zest and rosemary which gives you a beautiful seasoning. Okay, once you've got the, that sort of toasty quality, that little toasted quality on the breadcrumb, it's time to take it off the heat. Our last ingredients are going to be added once it's been removed because we actually don't want to cook them. They are our toasted walnuts and our finely chopped or shredded parsley. You mix those two together and then you literally just pour this stuff in straight out into a large bowl. It's ready to go. Let it cool and you're ready to stuff your chicken. And if you want to find out exactly how to do that, I've got another tip for it.